Hi everyone! Today I'm going to teach you a little trick which will help you to be able to figure out every single chord on the whole piano. Okay, so a lot of the time people learn chords by learning each one individually. So they'll go, okay, G minor. So they'll find out on the internet or they'll get taught by a teacher. And they'll get told to memorize that shape, find the G, and then they'll learn another chord, E flat major. So they'll go, okay. And again, they'll have to memorize that and all those individual chords. And there's, there's so many different chords. I want to teach you a little trick and it will save you so much time. All you need to remember is this. Tone, tone, semitone, tone. Okay? Tone, tone, semitone, tone. Now I'm going to explain what that means and how you're going to use it. First of all, you need to understand what a tone is. So if you do know already, just please excuse me for a few seconds. So first of all, I'll explain what a semitone is. A semitone is when you move around by the tiniest amount, so the smallest movement, white up to this black note here, up again, up again, semitone, 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 semitone. So those are semitones. So just going back to a tone, a tone is two semitones. So if you go from C up a full tone, semitone, tone. D, so up, up a full tone from there, you got miss a semitone, tone. So that's two semitones. Here, you're not just going to the next white note. If you're going to go up a full tone from E, you go semitone, and then up to the F sharp. So a full tone from E is it up there to the F sharp. Again, if you want to go up a full tone from the F sharp, you go F, G, G sharp. Now you know what tones and semitones are. If you can remember the sequence tone, tone, semitone, tone, this is how you use it. Start on any note, this will give you the major chord of that note. Okay, so this is how you use it. Here's your starting note. Now if you go up a full tone from there, so tone, again, tone, yeah, then semitone next, so semitone, and then tone. So starting note, tone, tone, semitone, tone. Those are the first five notes of the C major scale. Now if you take the f thumb or first finger, third and fifth, that will give you the C major chord. It's a bit of an easier chord, but let's use it for a more complicated chord. Let's use it for F sharp major. So starting note, you start on an F sharp. If you go up a full tone, watch this. So tone, again, tone. Now it's semitone next, so semitone, tone. It's the first five notes of the F sharp major scale. Yeah. Now if you take your first, your third and your fifth of those five notes, F sharp major. How cool is that? Tone, tone, semitone, tone. We'll do one more. So B flat major. So you start on a B flat, you go up a full tone from there. So semitone, tone. Another tone, so tone. Semitone next. And then another full tone. Take the first, third, and fifth. B flat major. So these are all the basic triad chords of the majors. Tone, tone, semitone, tone. Another little trick now to give you all of the minors as well, because now you know all of the majors on every single note. Yeah, you just need to use tone, tone, semitone, tone. All you need to do to find the minor chord is, what's this? So you find your major chord, so you go, I'll, I'll do it on D. So, starting note, remember, you do your starting note and then you move. So, starting note, tone, full tone, semitone, tone. First, third, fifth, D major. To find the minor chord, all you need to do is go to the third in the middle, the middle note in this case, and make that go down is in to your left, a semitone. And that'll give you the minor chord. So let's do A flat major. And then we're going to find the minor from there. So A flat major, so start on an A flat. Tone, tone, semitone, tone. That's the first five notes on that scale. First, third, and fifth. 
and then that's the A flat major, you just go down a semitone. So that middle note would go down a smallest step to the left to the A flat minor. There's today's lesson for you. I hope you found that useful. I wish I'd been taught that when I first started learning piano because it's such an easier way, just remembering tone, tone, semitone, tone. And if you're learning scales, you can use that for the first five notes um, and it'll, it'll just hopefully save you a lot of time. So I hope you enjoyed the lesson and please follow and upvote and all that kind of stuff if you have the time and if you enjoyed the lesson. Thanks for watching.